What's a simple thing someone can do to better their life? Declutter your living space. It's not exactly easy the first time but when you get rid of the things you don't ever use, minus a collection, it really clears your head. Remind yourself of the good things you have. Even if it's something as simple as a roof over your head, the bed you sleep in, or the phone you use to browse Reddit with. Also, acknowledge positive things about yourself. Whether it be your hair, your style of clothing or something you accomplished when you were younger. It sounds cheesy, but for those of us who focus more on the negative aspects of life, it does help to remind yourself that there are hidden gems in there too and it's important to take notice of them. ETA, if you are struggling with something, it's perfectly okay to acknowledge your pain, anger, sadness etc. And allow yourself time to work through it. Reminding yourself of the positives is just to keep you from getting completely bogged down in the negativity. Create a budget. There are so many free tools available online that it really is simple. Take a few minutes each day to monitor your spending saving and you'll thank yourself later. I work in the trades. Never stretched always stiff. A month ago I started stretching in the morning and before going to bed and it has made huge difference. Just last week I was able to touch my toes with straight legs for the first in my life. Be more honest, but don't be a doucher bag about it. This is a concept that escapes so many people. It is entirely possible to be honest without being an butthole. Oftentimes it's literally just reordering your words. Be willing to give genuine apologies when you are wrong. No excuses. No justifications. Just, I screwed up by doing X. I see now that it affected you this way. I should have done Y. I'm sorry. This shows that you have thought about it from their perspective. Care how they feel and want to do better by them. Apologies that start with justifications or excuses often feel hollow to the recipient. When sleep is concerned, hours aren't everything. So, proper, good quality sleep pattern is a great improvement. An exercise routine and as much movement as one can pack in a day, as in running or walking or cycling, reducing added sugar intake. I'm putting this instead of simply eating healthy, because eating healthy can be expensive and hard, at times. Reducing added sugar intake alone would be great for your health and it is just as easy as not eating junk food with lots of sugar in them or stop drinking soda, and not buying something is much easier than not consuming something once it is in your kitchen. Have achievable short term goals, and reward yourself appropriately when you achieve them. Whenever I complete a task on my list, I allow myself 10 minutes on Reddit, makes the day go faster. Delve into your fantasies every once in a while. As people get older, they tend to lose a lot of that spirit which allows them to sit around thinking of amazing things. Picture some fun stuff. Picture some impossible things which, although they don't exist in the real world, do exist in your mind. Although it's important to keep a firm perspective on the real world, let yourself daydream a little. Better yet, put it down on paper. Write a little story, draw a picture. One of the best things about humans is their ability to be creative. I think it's important to never lose that creativity. You never know, you could be sitting on an imagination which is capable of creating best-selling novels or world-class paintings. There's no use trying, she said. One can't believe impossible things. I dare say you haven't had much practice, said the queen. When I was your age, I always did it for half an hour a day. Why? Sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Show up on time. People feel that their time is respected if you do and you keep adding to your accountability and credibility bank. Compliment people behind their backs. It seriously reduces the drama you have to deal with in your day-to-day -day life. Especially do it to co-workers. I'm just getting into a new job which had a lot more drama than I anticipated. I'm gonna try this and see how everything goes, thanks. Sufficient sleep and hobbies. So just make sleep your hobby then. Don't hold on to anger. I try, but everyone keeps shoving more anger up my ass, so I can never get rid of it. Open some blinds my dude and let some sun shine in your house in the mornings. It always made happy. I always use this threads to motivate myself, and then do nothing. Watch YouTube videos on different skills. This last summer I learned how to fix the water fixture on my refrigerator that had been broken for 3 years. I fixed a dryer that made a loud squeaking, 
I learned how to install brick pavers and create visually pleasing rock landscapes. I learned how to build a fence, and I learned how to pour concrete properly while I was doing it. All of these things saved me thousands of dollars and gave me a sense of pride and accomplishment that no EA game could give, and it turns out I like doing that kind of stuff. I find it fun. Now I enjoy helping friends do odd jobs they don't know how to do and it's improved my relationship with many of them. As an added bonus, the work was a lot of exercise and helped me actually get back into working out on a daily basis. My health has never been better and I look like I did almost 20 years ago now. Since then I have started learning woodworking and metalworking. I plan to build my own forge this summer. If you would have told me this 2 years ago I would have laughed in your face. I was a 7 day a week drinker, a pack a day smoker, I got high all day long, drank at least 6 mountain dews a day, and I ate like crap. But my new hobbies were enjoyable and I didn't need alcohol or drugs to make them fun. Without even noticing I cut back on drinking and getting high and I haven't had a cigarette or soda in over a year. Drink more water. Or you might die. Since I started living by the mindset it's better to look back and laugh at what you did than look back and wonder what could have been I've been more confident, happy, outgoing, and caring. Basically, talk to that cute girl, ask for help when you need it, work out, diet, help those in need, offer help, learn new things, the list goes on. Delete Facebook. Hit the lawyer. Wear sunscreen. If I have been feeling unproductive I like to make a when I'm bored list. It has a mixture of fun and practical things I could be doing. Things like put a wash on, message a friend, etc. After you finish using a dish or cup, wash it right away. You need to throw out all the garbage from your head, understand what makes you unhappy and try to change it. Yeah, but it's my head making me unhappy. Freaking head. Save your money. I was paying off a loan $100 a month, and once I finished paying it I just got that same amount to go straight to savings now. Getting up earlier than needed before work, so one has about an hour of me time to do whatever you wanna do before the rest of the world wakes up. I do this, except I cut out the waking up part and spend that extra me time on sleep. Exercise. It really helps if you're dedicated and consistent with it. A weird way I convinced my lazy self to do this was by telling myself I will only work out for a few minutes or go for a short run. But once you begin, you most likely want to keep going. Similarly with work and procrastination. Tell yourself you will only work for 5 minutes. You will find you will be working for much longer. Consciously try to make someone else's day better. It will almost always make you feel better too. I try to do one major act of kindness a week. Usually I'll just mysteriously give people gift cards for coffee when I see they are having a bad day, but even just something small like complimenting someone makes a difference. Try at least one new thing every week. It's all fun and games until week 362 when you get pegged. Stop drinking soda. Don't ignore mental health, it is everything. Totally agree took me way too long to deal with some of my anxiety issues. Now I look back on all that time I was putting off dealing with it and see it as such a waste. Eat more vegetables. Exercise has made me much less skinny and helps me mentally a lot. Be a spectator of your thoughts. Be a watcher. Detach and look inward. Be the atmosphere, not the cloud. Respect everyone equally. A janitor and a CEO of a company are both people and deserve equal treatment. It gets you far. Moisturize. Your skin will love you and it's an easy act of self-care. Leave the house 10-20 minute earlier than originally planned. Drink water. Sleep 8 hours or as much as they personally need. Not everyone needs 8 hours of sleep to be okay. Give themselves mini pep talks to get them ready for the day and hype themselves up to do things they see as hard or not easy for them to personally do. I'm part of a discord server and we kind of call up people by playing a game we all like. When we encounter someone online who's chill we shoot them an invite. Multiple times we've had people say, after someone logs off for the night, that it's odd, in a good way, that we don't crap talk about people when they sign off. To me, that's just normal, how you'd treat your friends. 
but apparently that's not how a lot of other people think. In my experience if I have a problem with someone that I can't ignore or that I can't come to a resolution to about myself then it warrants talking directly to that person. My advice, if something is bothering you and it's directly related to someone else's behavior towards you, then say something to them. That's not to say fielding the situation to someone you trust isn't good. I often use another friend to gauge if I'm overreacting or if there is something about the scenario I'm not privy to that will change my outlook. That said, wherever possible I try to talk to the one I have an issue with because in the end most of these kinds of problems are often just misunderstandings or someone's ignorant insensitivity. As in they don't know they are being insensitive. TL. DR. If you have a problem with someone talk to them about it. No good comes from beating around the bush when a simple conversation could easily, cleanly, and quickly clear things up. Get organized. I cannot tell you how much this has helped me during the past few months alone. Start with writing things down. Everything that you need to do, that you want to do, all the things, write them down. If you do it right it will probably take a while. Then once you've got that far start cleaning and organizing your physical spaces, room, apartment, house, wherever. Don't skimp take a fresh look at everything you own and ask yourself do I need this in my life. You might have acquired things a while ago that have little to no relevance to your life now, or going into the future and unloading those things feels incredible. Once you have cleaned and re-evaluated everything it's time to put it all back how you like it best. You've probably been so busy living life that you neglected the things you have and where they even go and believe me that does matter. Think about how you live your life and what arrangement of your things facilitates at best then get a rearranging. You will notice a difference after you've been living with the thoughtful way you've organized your things I guarantee it. Now remember that list of things you wrote down? Do em. I bet you have at very least a few things that you've been wanting to do for a long time and just haven't gotten around to for one reason or another. Maybe you've been too busy, or had other things to do, or you just forgot. Organizing your life like this actually frees up time by allowing you to manage your schedule to the fullest so you can do those things and lead a happier, more fulfilled life. It's like it opens up more time in the day but instead of adding time it just clears away the clutter that took it up before. Now all of this, every step, is a process. It all takes time, and the amount depends on the person. Also you might want to treat this as a sort of job, because as unattractive as that sounds you are actually working on. 4. Yourself and doing things like browsing Reddit, lol, should come after you've spent an hour or more a day working on these things so you get all of it done in a reasonable amount of time. And if you truly work at it it will pay off so well and you will be happier. I hope this helps. Greatest things that have helped me. Quit drinking so much. I wasn't an alcoholic but I drank a few times a week and got drunk. Now I'm drinking maybe a six pack of beer a weekend. Hobbies. Picked up rock climbing and I mountain bike. Being outside in general has helped my mental state so much. I quit playing video games so much to be outside more. Working out. Just three days a week. I've never felt better than when I'm lifting heavy. I've found high intensity workouts drain my energy but lifting heavy has greatly increased it as well as my testosterone. Meal prepping. Don't worry about lunch. Save money and planning your meals to eat healthier. Win win. If you find yourself worrying about something you can't control try to take a step back and realize it's just something you cannot control. Focus on the good or what you can do to make yourself feel better about the anxiety you're having. My dog. Get a pet if you're an animal person or if you're lonely. Nothing will ever love you as much as a dog will and it just feels good man. Also the responsibility and schedule they keep you on helps. Simple things everyone can do. Take the stairs instead of an elevator or escalator. Park in the furthest spot in a parking lot to walk a little more. Pack a lunch instead of buying one. Most people eat sandwiches or salads at lunch anyway and you'd be amazed how much you save and how controlling the ingredients will affect your mood and health. Plus it's pretty easy once you get in a routine. Swap your second or third cups of coffee for green tea. It'll still give you caffeine, just not as much, and help rehydrate you more so than coffee. Unplug for an hour before bed. You'll get to sleep faster and have deeper sleep if you turn off the screen earlier before you go to bed. Meditate. Do not accept to levitate and be able to resist fire after it. It really helps you to calm down.
you're not really selling it, levitating and resisting fire are surefire ways to get people to meditate. Stop drinking. I stopped my weekend binge drinking back in October, down from 20-60 drinks a week to 0-2. Physically, I feel a lot better in almost every regard. Mentally, the crap I was suppressing with alcohol has floated back to the surface and I kinda hate it. Reading a book. Incidentally, reading to your kids. Look around every once in a while, be it for the surroundings you pass by every day, or to be aware of someone trying to get past you. Also flex your stomach muscles while brushing your teeth, to pass the time. This will become a habit pretty quickly and bam, free easy workout. Plus one for creativity. Dentists hate this man. Learn how he got a six pack in only five years by just brushing his teeth. Smile and be honest. Seriously, two of the easiest things ever. No one likes people who don't smile and no one likes people who lie. I feel like freaking dying. You have been visited by the chunk of good fortune like this post to enable good fortune for 26 minutes. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.